Welcome back to Rolling the Robsons. In this video, we're going to show us going through the southbound the approach we would take using the caravan to get through. So, as you can see, we've just passed uh, the junction for the ferries. Um, there is some roadworks before here, but probably by the time you get here, they've gone. And we're trying to stay in the left hand lane uh, due to the fact that the widest part, the widest uh, booth, is actually on the left hand side. So, there are some cars come down here, so you just kind of check and give way. It's busy times, it can be a bit more. Um, well, kind of chaotic and a bit busy down here, but generally okay. Uh, and I wasn't speeding there, that was the car in front. And basically, as you can see from the sign on the left hand side, we've got uh, a change on the left hand side, just where that white car went. And then we want to stay on the left hand side and we want to go in the wide loads lane. Although you can get to the other lanes, it's probably better. And again, just watch people coming up from the um, change section there. Um, and then you come into here and like we said in the first booth if you want you can sign up online through the Time Tunnels website and you can actually get it to scan your um, registration plate and that will be a little bit cheaper as well unfortunately it didn't do mine but there you go so coming out here and what you'll see is that the lanes here merge again at quite busy times you need to be careful uh, people shouldn't cross those white lines but sometimes do um, and then the speed limit coming actually back through the tunnel on the south side is a little bit faster than the north side with it being at um, 40 miles an hour as you can see on the sign here as opposed to the 30 when we saw the northburn, northbound tunnel. <laughs> Here we're just starting to come back out the top. There is, as you come out, a turn to the left, which takes you to uh, Jaro uh, and South Shield. It's probably less than likely you want to go there unless you live there, particularly with a caravan. So we're going to go back towards the A1, again cutting off that corner. So as you see, there's a left turn there. Uh, the other thing to be careful of is just past this um, LED sign, is that there is a lane that comes on here, and sometimes people come here quite quick. So again, just be careful the caravan just to try and give give way. Um, and then we're kind of looking for the next main left-hand turn. That takes us back onto the A194, which eventually becomes the A194M. And then eventually that becomes the A1M uh, South. So that's quite a good way to do it there. So we're just about to come up to here. As you can see, the signs on the side to a turn. Just missed the parking bay on the left-hand side. And then we're going to turn off here. And then if we want to go towards the A1M, we want to try and stay on the right hand side of the lane here. And then at the bottom, we go right around the roundabout and then we're along the A194M for getting back to the A1. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and please comment.